Hi everyone. We talked about adding, subtracting um, radical expressions. The next goal is dividing radical expressions. Now to divide radical expressions, we are going to go up here and use these properties, right? Meaning, same as addition and subtraction, we try to create a like term, meaning things that have the same base. And then division, when you have the same base, just means a subtraction of the exponents. So let's try that. Right here, um, first I, I'm going to factor. Now what is 48? 48, um, I think it has a lot of factors. So 2, 24, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. So this is 2 to the power 4, 3, x cubed, over 2 times 3 times x. This means it's 2 to the 4 3x cubed over 2 times 3 times x all in the square root. Why is that? Well that's because of this property here. Yeah, if you apply this in reverse. If you have the same exponent, then you can combine the division. Now, once you combine the division, you'll notice there are things you can cancel off. The threes cancel off. You're left with three copies of two and an x squared. So the denominator vanishes and you're left with the square root of two cubed times x squared, which means there's a copy of two and a copy of x that will escape and leave you with just one, two inside the square root. Let's do the same thing here. Um, this is going to be two to the four x to the five y squared cube root over cube root of two x y to the negative one. So it's the cube root of two to the four x to the five y squared over two x y minus one. 2 to the 4 over 2 to the 1 is 2 to the 4 minus 1, which is 2 cubed. x to the 5 minus 1 is x to the 4. And then y to the 2 minus negative 1 becomes y to the 2 plus 1, which is y cubed. So this entire thing comes out to be cube root of 2 cubed x4 y cubed. So there's a copy of 2. There's a copy of x, there's a copy of y. So 2xy cube root, there's no copies of 2 left inside and no copies of y, but there's one copy of x. So what looks like pretty messy over here, once you simplify, is actually not very messy. Now here's a problem where um, you may have to sometimes, you may have to add and as well as multiply. Right. Find the area of this rectangle and the perimeter. So let's start with perimeter. Perimeter, what is perimeter? It's just the sum of all the sides. So I'm adding root 125 to 2 root 20 to another copy of root 125 to another copy of 2 root 20. What is this? This is 5 cubed. This is 2 squared times 5, another 5 cubed, 2 squared times 5. So there's a copy of 5 that comes out, 5 root 5. There's a copy of 2 that comes out, 4 root 5. Another copy of 5 that comes out, and another copy of 2 that comes out. These are all like terms. So I end up adding 5 to 4, which is 9, plus 5, which is 14, plus 4, which is 18. So the perimeter is 18 root 5 feet. Area is going to be length times width, which is going to be root 125 times 2 root 20. So I already have a 2 outside, I keep it outside, and I have 5 cubed and a 2 squared times 5 which becomes 
5 to the 4 times 2 squared. 5 to the 4 means there are two pairs, right? So I can actually pull out a 5 squared and one copy of 2. So the area now does not have, it's 25 times 4 is 100 feet, square feet. The area does not have any radical in it. Right, so here you could have done this extra step, which is 2 times 5 to the 4, 2 squared to the 1 half, which becomes 5 to the 4 to the 1 half times 2 to the square to the 1 half, which is 5 to the 4 times 1 half and 2 to the 2 times 1 half, which gives you 2 times 5 squared times 2. Or you could just think of it as, 5 to the 4 means there are 5 copies of 4. It's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And you can make 2 pairs of 2. So you pull out a 5 squared to get your area. So basically, the most important thing is um, knowing, for example, that square root and power 1 half is the same. Yeah, cube root and 1 third is the same. And um, these five properties. Let's make sure that you use them properly. And that's, that's pretty much it. The goal is to be able to simplify these expressions and be able to work with them like you would with polynomials. Basically, they combine as like terms and they cancel as like terms and all of that. That's it for uh, this week and that's the end of this video as well. Thank you.